Hey guys, Report Rockstar here. Today I want to share with you something that has saved me literally hours. And that's why I'm excited to share it with you and I hope that you will find the same success with it and it will spark your imagination to do some even more exciting things. <clears throat> Basic theory of what I want to do today, you can see here we have a number of folders and we're going to manipulate and interact with the Windows file structure via VBA macro. And in this particular case, we have on each month represented here for each folder. So 10 is October of 2014. Each month, I have to come in and change or, or copy these forward. Same with all the files inside and rename them all for the month and year. So in this case, again, we have 2014 represented by the 14 and the 10 for October. So we need to copy those forward and rename those four characters to reflect the appropriate month and year. So we're going to do that with a simple macro. This is simply the command screen. I've tied this just to a button. It's kind of fun. Uh, you just have to write, you have to put your clip art or picture in, right click, and then assign a macro, uh, <clears throat> and then select your created macro. Very simple to do, but kind of cool. A little feature. So I'm going to demo this, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Shows up 11. I have a little confirmation screen that comes up, message, we have our source and our destination folders, great, success, we come inside and we can now see that we have upgraded from 14.10 to now 14.11, representing November 2014, so it looks like it worked fine. Let's take a look inside and just kind of look at the code. I've included this down below, you can actually just download this file and you can play with it, manipulate it, do whatever you want with it, no problem it's yours. Uh, one thing to point out when you're working with a file system object it's its own unique reference that has to be loaded and so to do that when you open up a spreadsheet if you have this one it doesn't matter I've already done it but if you have a new spreadsheet you have to come into tools references and what you have to find is the Microsoft scripting runtime. Once you click that hit OK that now opens up all of those tags and code in the file system object library that will allow you to do this. Start here with the code. If you can make this work on your machine, then you are 90% there. This is just simply your directory, your source and destination. I've added some variables in here that I've defined here as month, year, destination, month, year to increment that and change the name. That's a little fancier. You can just hard code this in, no problem. In my example, we created a new folder. If one had already existed, if this is per se the second time I had run that, and November's folder had already existed, then this is going to come up and say, hey, uh, you already got this. Would you like to overwrite these files? And that can be very important, especially if you've already done work in those new files. You don't want to overwrite those. So that's a very important piece to this. That didn't happen. Uh, because it was a new folder, which was good. The next part is this three-part naming convention. I had to take these uh, file names and break them into three sections or three strings. And you can see here the first one is the first five characters. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. The fifth character is the one. And that starts the second string. So 1411 would be that second string. That's what I increment and change. So from there, then we just have the rest of the extension uh, to create the full string or full name that we can manipulate. And then our message box, which simply says you succeeded, congratulations, it's copied, perfect. Then we had some error handler options here, just in case something didn't work. This is kind of all kind of fluff in the end. It's really helpful and professional looking if you're doing this at work. I would definitely say work on including these in your macros, but it's not vital to the copying to actually work. But again, I've copied this uh, so you can download it. Study through this. Start up here with these guys. This is where you want to start working. Just make sure it works. Get some small success. After that, see what you can do. I'm curious. Let me know what you guys come up with. If you're new to VBA, start recording a macro here. Start poking around and watch what code happens. That'll kind of get you started. That's how I started to learn. And from there, your imagination will take you wherever you want to go. So let me know what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching. And Report Rockstar, signing off.